Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. So as you can see, I just got my hair cut. I've been wanting to get this sort of Natalie and Brulia torn video haircut. I've been collecting it on Pinterest and I finally got it and I'm so happy. I pretty much just left the salon and I filmed it all so that's going to be after this. But I wanted to show you guys the cut. I am so happy. I feel so free. All of my damaged and bleached hair is gone and when they were sweeping it up I was like good riddance just get that hair out of here it was just so damaged and it was so freaking hard to deal with so now i'm all not i mean i have like this part has been colored before but it's not super damaged and bleached so i love it i feel so light and free and sexy and fun and i'm really excited because i get to wear it next weekend to playlist so i'll have a totally different look i'm also going to add some turquoise and maybe a little bit of blonde um so it's not totally finished but I do have the shape. You guys know that I love vintage stuff, so I'm always looking to the past for style inspiration and styles to steal. Um, but sometimes you don't think about stealing hairstyles or haircuts from the past. I like doing that because you can always find more inspiration and you won't find something that everybody's doing. But I don't really like getting like super trendy cuts, so I thought it was really cool when I found this one, which was literally the most, it's like the Rachel basically of 19, 97 or 98. This is basically like one of the most popular haircuts from that time. So back then I probably wouldn't want to get it and seem like I was just jumping on the bandwagon. Um, although you should do whatever the heck you want no matter what but sometimes I just don't want to seem like I'm just doing everything for blending in you know um, and fitting in. If you want this haircut you would obviously take in the torn Natalie and Brulia pictures. I also brought in the video because it's nice when you have a video option so that the hairstylist can actually see the hair moving and maybe from behind and see what it looks like. Um, so I just downloaded it onto my iPad and I took that in. And also what it's called, in case you're wondering, is, um, well she said it's kind of a cross between like a 90s bob and a shag, so we just call it the shab. So, you know, pretty much famous, always making up new hairstyle names. So the only difference that we did is the neck is a little bit more softly done. So it's sort of feathered out instead of coming to an abrupt end that's shaved like they do at the barber. It's feathered out. So it gives it a little bit more of a feminine look. It doesn't give you that abrupt line and it also helps to deal when it grows out. It doesn't look really grown out because um, when you shave the actual hair on the neck then of course you're gonna have to do that more often so it'll just help it give it a little bit more grow out and I really like it because it just feels like flirty and free so if you want this exact thing with this hair you would take a screenshot of this right now and then show your stylist the difference and I can't more highly recommend Felicia at Yellow Strawberry Salon she noticed every single detail in the pictures and the video she asked me so many good questions but she actually got it exactly how I wanted like I could see that it looked exactly like the picture so she did amazing and if you guys are in the area I would seriously I do not recommend hair people lightly at all. So um, if you're in the area, I would definitely go to her. Thanks, girl. Okay, I think that's pretty much it on the info before we get into actually bringing you guys along with me to the salon because I did go by myself, so I was really happy that I got to bring you guys along. I also have to give a shout out to my girl, Nicole Marie, also known as October Rain on here. Um, she, I showed her a picture of it and she was like, yes, do it. And she was like literally one of the only people that said, do it. She didn't say, something she was just like do it that'll be awesome so thank you girl because that gave me confidence so yeah enjoy coming along with me to get my hair cut all right guys so I'm here with Felicia I have not seen her in a long time because I haven't been in the area but I love her and I walked in and of course her hair is like one of my favorite colors that I always do so I know that I'm in good hands and it's gonna be really cool. So I showed her what I'm going for and I think we're on the same page and I'm very nervous. So we're about to get started. Felicia was just telling me something really cool. In all my years of messing with hair, I've never heard this. Everybody has one part that kind of, when you part it, it'll lay more on your face. So kind of lay down a little more and give you more of like that, you know, side bang look. And then the other side. It tends to be a jump off. So it tends to Titanic, jump off. Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio volume. 
That's so cool. And she says everyone has like one side does that and then the other side does the other thing. So one side goes back and one side goes down. I love that. So it's like if you ever are going for those looks, you can actually learn which side you need to party for. Yeah. And that's it. That's my haircut. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> it's called a reverse mullet. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're just basically taking off the length right now, and it looks so funny. <laughs> this looks like just, I don't know, like a Russian spy's haircut, or like, it just looks very serious. <laughs> She's like, hold still, don't be scared, it's okay. So now we're going in to do the razoring. It's really funny because until we thin it out, it looks pretty much like... Devin Sawa's 1995 year So she used these texturizing shears a lot to take off a lot of the would you call it volume or not volume? Yeah, just thickness. A lot of the thickness of the hair. Oh, that's perfect. Is that good? Yep. Exactly what I wanted. This is a styling and she uses Sumo Tech by Bumble and Bumble. Styling paste? Yeah, or wax? It's, like a, it's a hybrid. Okay. Paste is like a paste wax. 